All right, how's everybody doing? We are at AmishBuiltCabins.com, just running the camera. It's a beautiful day out here today. We're in February 2024, approaching the middle of the month here. And I figured, you know what? Let me run this camera on this beautiful day and just do a little bit of walking and talking here. Answer some frequently asked questions I get all the time and upload it to the TikToks and the YouTubes. So a question I get asked a lot is, hey, can we get a different stain color on these cabins? And absolutely, guys, if you uh, want your cabin stained either on the exterior or interior, a different color, we can do it. We do charge a fee for that. But there is an option to do that. That is a question I get a lot. So I figured I'd address that. Just let us know what stain color you want from Lowe's or Home Depot, and we can make that happen. Let's see, what other question do we get? Uh, oh yeah, we get, um, can you change the color of the roof? What other roof colors do you got? Well, we got 12 different roof colors. Um, the ones I mostly sell the most of is this black one I got, which is a 26 gauge metal roof. Black, it's popular. Uh, Hunter Green is popular, like this cabin got on it. This little cabin kit got this Hunter Green. So... That green is very popular, and we also, red and uh, blue is also popular. So I say those four colors are the ones I sell the most of. I'm starting to sell more white, I guess because white is reflective from the sun. I'm starting to sell more white roofs too, but um, those are mostly the colors I sell the most of. But we got 12 different colors. We got every color in the rainbow. Beautiful day today. Let me get y'all another angle of this El Chapo cabin here. So this one here, another question we get is, hey, do you offer this cabin as a uh, two bedroom? We do. So what you're looking at here is our one bedroom, which is a 14 by 40. And it's got a six foot by 40 foot uh, front porch. This one is 69,000, today's prices. Uh, 79,000 with the electric put into it. But let's say you want this exact same cabin, but eight foot longer with a second bedroom inside. That's a 14 by 48 with a six foot by 48 porch. You're looking at 89,000 for that cabin and then 99,000 with the electric package put into that one. So we do offer this El Chapo model as a one or two bedroom. I'm actually selling more of the two bedroom than I am the one because most folks need an extra bedroom for the kiddos or for the guests. So I actually say, I probably sell, I, I say I sell five uh, two bedrooms for every one one bedroom El Chapo. So the two bedroom is definitely the most popular out of the two. And it is eight foot longer. And let me show you actually, a lot of people ask where does that second bedroom go? So let me show you that real quick, how we do it. When you do a two bedroom, let me show you how we do that real fast. Well, I might've locked the door already. Let me see if I can get in real fast. I might've locked the door already. Let's see. Remember guys, I don't do any editing on my videos cause I'm old school. So all this is raw and uncut. Let me see if I can find the key here. Oh, I got lucky. I got janitor's keys over here, but I got lucky and guessed the right key. So I guess it's meant to be for me to show you how this two bedroom set up. So the way the one bedroom is set up now is it's at, it's at the end, right? So that room's gonna stay right over there. When you do a two bedroom, everything stays exactly the way it is now. This is where the front loading washer and dryer goes. That's the bedroom at the end. This is where your bathroom goes for your tub, toilet, and sink. You got your ladder up here to go to your storage loft. Now, this is where things change. On the two bedroom, this whole kitchenette, okay, and the living room gets pushed over that way, eight feet, okay? So this spot right here, there'll be a door right here, and this is where your second bedroom's gonna go. That way, you don't lose all that natural light on that side, all them windows, all that natural light coming in, if we were to put a room on the end there, you would lose them three windows, right? So we decided, we got with the Amish and we're like, look, move the kitchen that away, move that room that way eight more feet and let's put you a little eight to 10 foot bedroom in here. 
and you have the option to go eight or ten foot because you can always make your living room a little smaller and most people do do the actually most people do like a nine foot bedroom that way they can get you a queen bed in here but if you wanted a ten foot bedroom if you had a king in here you could too and you have a door right here so that way it goes bedroom this is where your washer dryer goes bathroom and then over here bedroom and then kitchenette living room okay and you turn around you got your glass sliding door that goes out to the front porch so i hope that explained how we do the 14 by 48 two bedroom unit and like i said that one is 89,900 or 99,000 if you want the electric package put into it okay uh what's another question i get a lot of um Oh, the walls. That's another question I get. Are these walls insulated? Guys, let me show you something. Let me show you something real quick. Them walls are not two by fours. These are four by six timber. Okay, so let me show you real quick. If we go here. You see them logs? You see that timber? Four by six stacked all the way up. See that? Stacked all the way up. So them walls are not hollow, guys. That's solid wood, and wood has thermal mass, which holds heat, guys, okay? So long before they had drywall and sheetrock, this is how folks back in the day, the old timers, this is how they built their homes, okay? And the stuff in between the timber is called permachink or chinking. That's what seals the cabin. So it's nice and efficient in here when you're running your heat and air or you've got your fireplace going. So... The wood itself on the walls is insulated because it is four by six timber. It has about an R9 rating for those of you guys that want to know what's the R factor? What's the R factor? R9 rating is what it has on it. And then underneath the subfloor, we can do your traditional fiberglass insulation. We can upgrade it to spray foam if you want to. Same with the ceiling underneath the wood panels, in between the wood panels up there and your metal roof. We can do your fiberglass or upgrade to the spray foam insulation. So that is another question that we get all the time is, is it insulated? Yes, this is insulated, but not in the way that you would think. The walls are four by six inch thick Southern yellow pine timber. Okay, that is solid wood guys, okay. What's another question that I get? Um, Ooh, let's see. Oh, another question I get a lot of is, hey, that loft upstairs in the El Chapo, can I put a bed up there or can you modify it so I can make it a loft? So let me answer that one question at a time. When you take this ladder up there, I got a seven-year-old boy. He can barely fit up there, guys. That is not a livable loft, okay? That is not a loft that you could put a bed up there and stay up, okay? My son can barely fit up there. It is for storage, okay? Then to address the other question, can you modify that roof on that pitch to make it higher so that you can make it a bedroom up there? The answer to that is yes and no. If we're delivering it to you far away from us as a prefab, the answer to that is no. This is how we build them. But let's say you live within 250 miles of us where we'll, we can build this thing for you on your lot, then yes, we can build that to where the, the roof pitch is higher kind of like the big Bertha, so you can make that a second bedroom up there. But we only do that on cabins that are site builds within 250 miles of our lot here in Scottsburg, Indiana. So I hope that answers your question. Um, let's see, what's another question that we get? Mm. Oh, is the furniture included? It is not. The Amish just have me display it because we do sell a lot of furniture because people know it's an option that they can purchase, but the loose furniture is not included in the cabin. This little nook is though, for the washer and dryer, that is included. And once again, the Amish built cabinets, if you like them and you want them, are also included in the $69,000 price. Once again, let me timestamp that because we're in February of 2024 when I'm talking about this video here. So here in 2030 when you guys watch this video you're not trying to get this price because i'm sure by then the prices ain't gonna be what they are today <laughs> that inflation is for real so anyways i hope that answers some of y'all's questions guys my name is osi 
They call me the Cabin Cowboy. My phone number is 502-298-8946. We are AmishBuiltCabins.com. The link is in the bio to get a hold of me if and when you're ready to order or you just have some questions or want to shoot the uh, chit chat with me. I'm down to talk with you. Holler at me. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on YouTube. I appreciate you. Y'all have a blessed day. I love you. God loves you. Peace be with you and the family. Y'all be blessed.